This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Good, how are you? Good. You videotaping me? Am I required to answer your questions? Uh, yes. Oh, Ridley Report. Awesome. Someone over at Reason Magazine recently, recently said something to the effect that uh, I have the best collection of cop interaction videos on the net. What's wrong? What's going on? Why are we here today? Do we have a permit for being here? And of course, most of these have something to do with cops doing something questionable. But I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not that interested in cops. I'm not particularly against them. I'm not particularly for them. I hardly ever seek them out. I don't really approach them with a camera, usually. I'm not much of an approacher. I'm more like a person who'll stand in a position where a bureaucrat's going to walk past. But anyway, the point is, I used to be kind of pro-police. I liked most of the police I knew when I worked in the mainstream press. I was fairly supportive, sympathetic. I was in the neighborhood watch. You know, I went to meetings with police. I went to the police station to have meetings. Went to the police substation and went to the meetings there. This is back when I lived in Dallas. I liked the idea of cleaning up the streets, even if I wasn't for the drug war. In theory, I've always thought the police mission was something of a sacred duty. Keeping the streets safe, investigating murders and robberies, that sort of thing. And I was content to be a good Republican and go after bad Democrats. That's what I expected to continue doing when I came to New Hampshire. But lo and behold... What did you just say? You're gonna have to leave the property, sir. Okay, that's what I'm doing. You're gonna have to leave now. When we tried to simply participate in the political system, the police came to us. Not all of them did it maliciously. Not all of them did it. Oh, please do not touch my camera. That's assault. What is this about me having to, to uh, register in order to take pictures? Some of them defended us against others. He can video tape. Without signing in down there? Yeah, up here he's okay. I apologize. Okay, thank you. I accept. But the police kept coming. You can't be here. You can be here, but you can't stand still. You can be here, and you can stand still, but you can't hold a sign. You're not allowed in. You're not allowed out. You're wearing too many clothes. You're not wearing enough clothes. You, you're banned from the park. You, you're banned from the courthouse. No, wait, you, you're, you're required to come to the courthouse. You should stand right here. You, you're under arrest for brushing shoulders with me. You, you're under arrest for not turning off your camera. You, you're convicted because you didn't get video. What? You're running for office on a pledge to return your salary to taxpayers? That's illegal. You're under investigation. We invite you to our office to interview us. Interviewing us is harassment. Okay, not all of these people are cops. Some of them are just bureaucrats or security personnel, but... You get the point. We've learned the same lesson, we learned it earlier, uh, that Occupy Wall Street learned. You might have an initial grievance, for us it was excessive government spending, uh, but what it turns into is a grievance about whether you can even participate in the political system safely, or whether you can live your life safely. And the people who are at the tip of the spear that is pointing at your heart, telling you you can't live your life, they're cops, mostly. And everybody who, who's on the internet these days, it seems like they want to see video of cops. They want to see conflict. They want to see the cops going against somebody. They want to see occasionally someone defeating the cops. It's like I said in the previous video, cops are the new Ron Paul. So although I don't have a particular interest in them, the fact is they have made themselves prominent and they have become the focus of national attention at least outside the mainstream press my viewers want cops 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 and more cops so that's what i have to give them on average a Rilio that's about cops 
gets twice as many hits as any other kind of Ridleyo. The most guaranteed type of success is an actual interaction with a cop. Oh, good. Hey, Ridley, I know we've met before and I forgot yeah. your name. Yes, yeah, Mike. Okay, you're with the uh, DHS? Or? Yes. Okay. It's just like with Ron, back, 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 back in 2007, 2008, the videos needed to be about Ron Paul. No, now they need to be about cops. And again, I, I'm a little uncomfortable just reporting on that, and I don't really want to do that, and I don't do that. But if you sometimes think I am doing that, it's because that's what the viewers feel they want. Fortunately, again, not all cops are bad, and videos of cops doing the right thing can get pretty good attention, too. So um, that's the saving grace. For those of you who are out there who are police, all this attention does give you the chance to uh, get good publicity for yourself by doing the right thing, which is usually doing less. Ow. NHLiberty.org.